do you make of Axel Rod's comments? Uh, at one point, he, the, the column does go on to say he thought he did a great job as vice president, but he says, if they think the polls are wrong, they're not. <laughs> and I'm thinking the polls are already so bad, uh, Victoria and Joe. How low can they go with this impeachment inquiry and the pressure getting turned up? Well, I think Axelrod hit the nail on the head, and that's what bothers the Bidens so much. Um, Joe is Joe Biden is used to constant praise. Uh, you know, they pummeled the press secretary the other day with the polling, and she basically said, yeah, we know what it is, and we're just mm -hmm. ignoring it. They know the polls are correct. They also know it's almost a year in advance. Anything can happen. But Joe Biden doesn't like to be criticized. He's a prickly guy, uh, if I may say so. And uh, he just doesn't like it. But the, the facts are what they are. His performance has been, been miserable on every front, foreign policy, domestic, economic, you name it. And Bianca, Axelrod is a very astute politician. <laughs> now, Joe and I worked in the Senate with none other than Senator Joe Biden. He has never been the brightest bulb in the U.S. Senate in that saying something. But he's always been, as Joe said, prickly. Remember, we've seen it again and again, the, the video where he tells somebody, I've got a better IQ than you do. And, he, and he, then he lies and said, I was in the top half of my law school class and I got scholarships. Who does that? Well, uh, yeah, and that's the thing. When you're a career politician, all of this lives out there. And now with all of the investigations into the, the influence peddling, it has become a fever pitch here. And, you know, Americans, if they weren't waking up back in 2020, are definitely looking at this much closely. There's this recent poll, uh, Harvard poll, about Joe and Hunter. I want to put this up on the screen so our viewers can see it. Joe Biden's involvement in Hunter's business dealings. This Harvard uh, Harris poll. 60% of Americans surveyed said yes, they believe he participated, and soon Congress may actually have more evidence leading to that. Uh, I think that's what Joe Biden should be focused on, not David Axelrod's comments to Maureen Dowd. Well, I think he feels insulated on that because he knows the Justice Department is never going to investigate it. Leslie Wolf, who was just subpoenaed by the House Judiciary Committee, covered up every effort four instances where she stopped the FBI, the IRS, and others from getting into the relationship between Biden and his son. So I think he feels that uh, he's pretty well protected by Merrick Garland and Christopher Ray, the FBI director. So I think that's why he's getting a little cocky. He's had a pretty easy run. Uh, for anyone else, mm -hmm. it would have been a death knell. And Bianca, don't you have to wonder about that 40 percent? It's what Rush Limbaugh used to call the low information voter. But interestingly, in that poll, it was 81 percent of Republicans who thought that Biden had, was participating in the business and only 39 percent of Democrats. So it tells me that it doesn't matter what kind of information or evidence you bring out. These mm. Democrats are going to be like the Hamas deniers. They're just not going to, they're just not going to believe it. And besides, the Republicans are really lousy at messaging. It doesn't have to take Joe Biden to receive the money for him to be guilty of bribery. All he has to do is commit an official act on behalf of somebody else getting the the money. That would be Hunter. Uh, and his the official act was firing the prosecutor that was investigating Hunter's company. So uh, the bribery is already established legally. It's just that the Republicans are really not good at getting that information out. They keep saying, oh, we're going to track We're going to track the money to I Biden. Think well, they don't have to. And putting out the law there is, is very astute. And uh, that's why we have you guys on. But also, I think that the 40 percent, you know, the media is complicit in not uh, doing some of the Biden's busy, bidding. So we have, you know, the propaganda arm of some of the left wing media there, big media, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, because when you do hear it and you start to put the pieces together, pseudonym emails and whatnot, it all starts to point a pretty ugly tale. Um, but we, we're letting Congress play it all out there. Joe Victoria, I appreciate your time so much today, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday week. Same to you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.